Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here back at the sawmill. Just got the uh, beams loaded up. Well, what I can. I can't get this last car to load for the life of me. I got one to drop in there, but I've moved it forward, backwards, whatever. Can't get it to load. So the load's going as it is. And I have decided to be going back up to full-size cars as soon as the opportunity arises so we'll still have this train running around the track but from now on we're gonna do some full-size cars just to make it easier to load it's just gonna be uh, more efficient it's just kind of being a pain in the butt the little cars and kind of had enough of messing with those I think all right so here we go check out wood for now <laughs> And out of the station. Oh, that's really chugging up slow. Kind of surprise. <clears throat> Getting the job done, but doing it slow. Which, you know, oh well. It's getting the freight moved. The, these little cars, <clears throat> well, they're cool. And they definitely change up the gameplay. They're just kind of a pain to load. Especially the longer train you get and everything else. They just start to become kind of a pain in the butt. At least that's my take on them. After now using them for a while. It's like when you just want to get them done, that's when it wants to be a hassle. And then sometimes it just won't work and you can't tell why because it's definitely lined up for the hitbox and it just won't put them in there. So I don't know what exactly the deal is there, but I have made the decision at this point. I think all the little rolling stock that's on here is what's going to be on here. We'll still use it in, um, in places and where it can be used, but I think I've kind of had enough of running the bulk of things in the little the little stuff. Surprisingly, I think the little one's the best is the hoppers, which is kind of weird. It, it definitely hauls a little less, but at least loading the hoppers with the, uh, you know, the chutes is much easier. And it still hauls a reasonable amount that it's not, like, horrible. So the ones that, when we got them, I thought I would like the least, I probably like the most in the long run. And the one I liked the most when we got it, which was the oil tanker, I won't even use because they had two oil, it's just not worth it. <laughs> like if we had to use them to fill locomotives or something, I definitely have a couple of them out there, but or if we had to deliver small amounts of oil to the industries for things, then I could see having a use for them. But as is with two, it's just it's not even worth you know, picking them up to run them. At least that's my opinion. So, unfortunately, as cool as I think the little tankers are, and I'd like to have a use for them, I just don't see an actual use. Roll the train out. This is going to be the last one that we need to actually get the oil field up and running so we should produce some oil after we get these out there so that'll be cool oil tankers are next which hopefully we'll actually have enough money to pick up a few tankers i'm thinking i mean i like the way this train looks i just hate filling it let's see what we can find here this 17 drop these off probably be around 
2,000. So that's probably just enough for like one tanker. Huh. But at least that one tanker would move 12 oil. I mean, we'd have to get, you know, six of the small ones to do it. Which we could afford, but the oil tankers are just too big a pain in the butt to line up to load if we ask me to turn around and only do two at a time. There's just no way. Uh oh. Train moving. Class forty eight. Decent looking loco. <clears throat> Actually, does a pretty good job doing multiple functionality early on in the game, that's for sure. I mean, it was a good... I would, I think it was a good choice this time around. For sure. It can climb some hills and get things going. It's not the greatest for long runs, but... No complaints anyway. Just kind of run this through the oil field, which is kind of cool. I've always wanted to run a rail through the field, just never had a reason to do it. This one kind of works out, gives a nice gradual turn coming around. It's a loop, but it's a big loop, so you know, no real worries. for brakes umpteen times so unless some brake is just magically turning itself off. Oh, I got that brake on. How about that? That'd probably do it. Jesus. <clears throat> I'd love to see it's the only time I ever did that, but I suppose I was trying to slow the loco down. Alright, whatever. Hopefully that's a good enough speed. Not too fast. And we gonna unload them fast enough. We'll see how it goes. Give up the... Uh, once we're behind, we're going to be screwed. I hate unloading these beams because they just don't pay enough to make it like, yeah, I'm unloading beams. Like, eh. Well, I guess we had plenty of room, actually, so we probably did get them there. And then they're just going to turn into oil anyway, so. Yeah, there you go. One more, sure, figures. The one beam and the train just stopped. I should 
get, right? Hopefully. Without going over. We go over? Nope, we didn't go over. Should be fine. Boom. One more. Let's not forget. So there we go. Cool. Now we have some oil. So at least that's the thing. Definitely have more drop-offs to make. And we now do have over 2K. So we can at least get an oil tanker. Not that we can get a lot of tankers, but we can at least get one. Definitely need to make some more progress, but uh, we are going to call that one a win for today. So say thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscription's free, but sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.